Well, that escalated quickly. So, a month ago, I recorded a video, Mind Seed Reaction. It was my fourth attempt, or my fourth reaction video to their channel. Three videos in, I was sold. I believed everything. I thought this was really cool. And then I saw a video that included um, three balls moving. Only one was supposed to move, but all three moved at one point. There was masking, there was glitching. And my comment section lit up like a Christmas tree. Whatever it is, let others enjoy what they're doing. Why rain on someone else's parade? Even if it's fake, they have great videos. A lot of people fake or prank videos. Absolutely they do, but they don't claim it to be real. Why don't you go to these places yourself and see what you think? Uh, I'm in the UK. That's really difficult for me, but I would. Heidi Kennedy, I totally disagree. No masking at all. I respect your opinion. I respect that you enjoy the channel, but you're wrong. Rene N. Big fan of Mindseed. Let them do their thing. There's no need for this debunking shit. It's just not cool. And at the end of the day, who gives a shit? I do. Christian Noreen, 10 minutes ago, I will 100% keep watching their channel. Smiley face. Good. Jordan Harris. Their videos are 100% real. Capital letters. So what are you guys talking about? There's no guys. There's just me. Hi. Beardo. Just me. Y'all just... Jealous that the YouTube channel is growing and yours is not laughing face. Clips worth watching, whatever it is, let others enjoy what they're doing. I'm not telling them they've got to stop. Totally disagree. No masking. Wrong. And I'm like, listen, I didn't go out of my way to find that footage. I was reacting to Mind Seed videos and spotted a fake grief. Somebody tailored saying, How dare I be a debunker? I'm not a debunker. I've never set out to debunk anything. However, if something is clearly bullshit, I'm going to call it out for bullshit. I don't have the editing skills or the knowledge and know-how to make what these guys make, and I don't have any of the skills to take it into After Effects and all that bullshit and pick it apart. Then a comment came through saying, you're fat. Keep the, be was it? Keep the weirdo beardo geek in the UK where he belongs. I'm surprised you noticed that with all that fat around your eyes. Your fat and smelly beardo. I'm not a smelly, idiot. All joking aside, if you're gonna come into my channel and if you're gonna pull apart what I have reacted to and what my opinions are on it, absolutely fine. Don't get personal with me. Don't call me fat, don't call me smelly. I am fat, I don't give a shit. But if you do that in my channel where I don't care and where it doesn't have any impact on me other than I laugh, but you do that to somebody else who's got some issues, some mental health struggles, issues with their body weight, and you make that comment, you don't know what damage you're doing. So think before you post something horrible like that. Now that that's out of the way. Some people came into the comments and they were quite happy with what I found. One person was like, up until your video... I believed Mind Seed, and now I've seen that, I can't unsee it. Have a look at this video and tell me what you think. And then more and more comments coming through. Check out this video. Check out this video. Check out this video. And it's all people wanting me to debunk Mind Seed. And I can't do it to the extent that you want. However, one of the comments said, The scariest video ever recorded almost stopped the show. Now, I reacted to this, and I posted the video to this, and there was a bit with a barn that stood out, and then a bit with a lake at the end that stood out. And I, full disclosure, I was in. I believed every second of it. But I've been asked to have another look at it. I'm not going to do the whole video, because it takes too long. So they're at a farmhouse. Um, it's quite a nice property, with cockroaches. They go into a barn, and basically all hell breaks loose. I can't explain to you what emotionally and mentally went on there. It was like... That sound was like the whole barn was coming down around them. 
bear that in mind. Like everything in there was going. Somebody is shaking the app, the shit out of something. It's a wooden frame band, so everything inside would have moved. Like everything that I had a choice of to think about shut off and instinct just kicked in. Well, apart from the jerky camera movement, nothing is moving in there. There is nothing in that video, image-wise, that shows any movement, other than them getting up and running. There's light fixtures. When they run out, there's a quick glimpse at the ceiling. Not clear enough for me to tell. There you go. Everything. Those lights there, if that violent shaking had happened, those lights and fan units would still have been moving, and they were silent. They were no movement at all. Around us was rumbling. It felt like the whole barn or stall was going to get lifted off of the fucking ground. Yet not a single thing in that video moved other than them and the camera. You hear chains rattling and all sorts, and none of those doors moved. Nothing around them physically moved. And those ceiling lights and fans are still... Look how still everything is. I'm telling you right now, I'm over it, dude. That amount of shaking, those light fixtures would have still been giving it that. So, can I 100% say that's fake? Not 100%. But there's enough there for me to call bullshit on it. And to the person in my comments, I'm not going to name the person in my comments because what I don't want to happen is for the guys that came in being all negative and shouting and ranting and raving to then go into these other people's YouTubes and giving them shit. The next part of the video, they go and sit out by the leak. The story is a husband murdered his wife, chucked her in the leak, drowned her in the leak. Either way, killed her, something, leak. Body. Ah, scary. They decided to do a Ouija board by the lake. And, again, I've watched this before. I was fully invested. I was fully sold. Um, But we're going to have another look at it. Now, something I missed the first time around. This camera placement. Their placement. They could have positioned themselves anywhere on this little dock on the lake. Anywhere at all. They've made sure this cap they are either side of the camera, and this section is clearly visible to us, the viewer. And there's a reason they framed it this way. And then comes this warning. The following footage may cause extreme discomfort and stick with you long after viewing this video. They really know to ramp up tension. If you have a weak stomach or are easily disturbed, we recommend you skip the following clip now. How bad is it? <sighs> build in tension, build in tension, build in tension. Is there more than one of you here? You're gonna hear a a dump or a split off? A dump. Well, yeah. This? An initial. Can you give us your name? Can you give us anything? There's the noise. Splodosh. They both look. No ripples in the water that we can see with our eyes. Everything so far cool. Look. Something has floated up through the water. He shit his pants. He's still looking. They run away. So later on, I'm pretty sure I remember they zoom in. So we're going to have a look at their zoomed in image and see what we can see. I could see what clearly looked like to me. I mean, crystal clear. The top of like a woman's head peeking at us out of the water. So this is the zoomed in version. This is theirs, not mine. I'm not in any editing software. Like, I mean, if I move my camera, this is the YouTube channel. I'm literally playing the YouTube channel. I've got my webcam over the top. 
Look at this. So this is meant to be a woman's head. I don't know what this is or how they've got that in there. I mean, how would you get something in the middle of the lake to pop up out of the water? Well, it's not there. This line here is obviously the water. They've... To me, this is an animation. Look at the shadow or the reflection of this. The reflection... Now, bear in mind, this has just broken the water surface. When you break the water surface, ripples will come out of the water. There's no ripples in this mirrored reflection in the water. It's a... They've dulled it down a bit, but there's no ripples. It's not moving. Is there a way I can slow this down? Playback speed. Okay, so we've gone into the YouTube settings and I've slowed the video down to uh, 0.25 playback speed. So we can see this in slow motion. Now watch this. It's borderline frame by frame, yeah? It just appears. It doesn't break the water and slowly emerge. It literally pops. Literally pops on the video as if it's been added in. And the reflection, as we've said. There is a little bit of animation there, a little wobble. Now his arm covers it for a few seconds there, but she's still there. There's still a reflection. And there it is. I think I've just seen it. After his arm moves up and he runs forward. Did you see it? <laughs> that sounded like Nuke. The masking. For a split second, there's a perfect square over her head. Just as his arm comes up. There we go. There's the masking. There's the perfect square just over that corner of the eye and it glitches in and there it is. Now it's taken out half of her face. This is obviously matrix and caused by his arm, which is really there interfering with what they've tried to layer in behind. Oh, I don't know enough about it to break it down any further than that, but that's what I know masking to look like. And it doesn't resubmerge. And then it doesn't submerge itself, it's just gone. Like the image was just taken out. So, for everyone that has come into my comment section saying they are not fake, they would never fake, they would never do anything of the sort, then it is without taking into a video editing software, just by using the original video and slowing it down with the YouTube slow filter. You can see digital masking. You can see that the reflection isn't really a reflection. It's a pasted on reflection because it doesn't ripple in the water. It doesn't move like a reflection in water. And that head doesn't, doesn't come out of the water and then pop back in. It appears, it lifts a little bit, and then it just disappears. And there's masking over one section of the face. So... As I said at the beginning of this video, there's a reason I've just done all of that. People were saying things like, how dare you, you debunkers are ruining. I didn't debunk the original video on purpose. I watched a video and reacted to a video like I do for all of the other paranormal stuff I watch, and I saw something that stood out as fake. Now I've just spent, what, 20 minutes trying to debunk? In a single video, in just two portions of the video, I have debunked both portions. So when you do put a bit of effort in, look how much bullshit you can catch and how much bullshit you can, you can pick up. So don't sit there and tell me I'm a, I'm a debunker and I'm ruining things for you, when clearly, if I wanted to, I could really piss on your chips. So for all you people that came in and were very rude, have a good look at what I've just shown you. And then tell me I'm wrong. For all you people that came in, disagreed with me, 
but were polite about it, that were having a constructive argument with me, absolutely fine. I welcome that. You guys being rude, I ain't got time for you. And I've gone out of my way just to show you how fake this stuff is. I won't be doing it again. I probably won't upload the other video to the newest, the reaction to the newest video, because quite frankly, I was bored all the way through in knowing that they're full of shit. I didn't want to do something like this. I was happy to leave mine seed alone. It was you people turning up into my comment section being abusive is why I've just decided to shit all over what you think is real paranormal activity. It's not. It's fake. I've shown you the masking. I've shown you an animated effect that they've added in After Effects or wherever programming they use to edit. And I've shown you that the band was just added sounds and them acting. So, with that, I hope I've ruined your day if you're one of the rude people. If you're not one of the rude people and you wanted to have constructive conversation with me about what is going on with Mindseed, please tell me I'm wrong about that nicely. And I will gladly listen to you, give you your time of day, and I'll tell you, have a nice day at the end of it. If you're happy and you enjoy... If you're happy and you enjoy Mindseed, feel free to keep watching them. I'm not telling anyone not to watch them. What I'm saying is I won't watch them anymore because they're fake. Anyway, I've been Beardo. I can't wait to see the comment section from this. But for now, fat smelly Beardo, out.